Okay, I was gonna make a video, uh, like start today's vlog. Um, I'm cooking breakfast at like 8 p.m. or something, which is a sign of how my day's going. And also the fire alarm just went off, which is also how my day's... Oh, and just to be clear, my cooking hasn't set off the fire alarm. That's the fire alarm for the entire building that went off. Maybe just as I started cooking, but yeah, it goes off all the time. It's deafening and, uh... And it costs thousands of dollars from fire Like, we have to pay thousands of dollars to the fire department to come every time this happens. And it's always either some idiot pressing something or just, like, faulty wires. Listen, you can hear the... Here it comes. Yeah, coming to save us from nothing! I hope the firemen have to come up here and I'll be like, I'm all naked. What are you going to do? Are you going to carry me away with your big strong hands? Should you wrap me in a soft blanket, or do you want to touch my soft skin yourself? I met up with that Catherine woman to uh, help her fix her chair. When I did that, the day I did that, the night before, there had been a fire alarm, and she's like, I was all worried. Like, I, I, you know, I was packing up. I didn't know what to do. And I was like, don't worry about it. It happens all the time. And so, Okay, I had a shower before my workout, which makes no sense, but uh, it helped me wait out the fire alarm because it's not as loud in my bathroom. And I also just felt like having a shower. What was I going to say? Oh, right. I want to put ketchup on my bacon and eggs. <clears throat> but I just remembered I didn't buy... I haven't bought ketchup because it seems like a waste of money because I feel like I can get a little ketchup packet at every fast food place there is. Like, I want to go over to A&W and just grab some ketchup. Actually, no, I'd have to pump it into little cups. But whatever, it seems like a waste of money, but now I have no ketchup. But what I do have is this Worcestershire... Worst... Worcest... Whatever sauce that I bought yesterday, and I also have a giant bottle that I didn't realize I had left over from the summer barbecue that they gave me. So maybe I can just. Uh. Okay, well, doing these vlogs is probably a waste of time, but I just spent like 10 minutes watching crack.com YouTube videos about uh, why Tim Burton kind of got kicked out of the Batman franchise. Anyways, so I waste time, so here we go. I went to bed around midnight last night, and I woke up at 2 a.m. Uh, I was having these nightmares, like I, I woke up, I, I heard sounds, like I thought there was a burglar in the house, or the apartment, and there was noise coming from upstairs, like the neighbors were doing something, and then in addition, maybe I was having a hypnopompic hallucination, where like you wake up and you hear a sound, and then you're like, was that a real sound or not? So I had to walk around my entire apartment, I had to check the front door, make sure it's locked, and then check the front closet, and then check the closet here, and everywhere... Uh, behind bathroom doors to make sure there wasn't actually a murderer in my apartment. Part of the problem might also be uh, leftover post-traumatic stress disorder from when I moved into this condo and uh, I was the only one in the building and I heard a noise one night, like in the middle of the night while I was sleeping and it turned out the security guard was in here and he robbed me. And maybe part of the issue is the melatonin I took before bed. Sometimes that gives me crazy dreams. Uh... And maybe, maybe I ate too close to the end of bedtime. So when I woke up at 8.20, which I guess is technically eight hours from the time I turned off my phone, but then I guess I lose some time in there for walking around, you know, looking for murderers. Anyways, I was still tired, so I went back to bed a few times. And by back to bed, I mean back to sleep. I never got out of bed until like noon. So that's half the day gone. And then right around then, Carolyn texted me because she had asked if, a couple of days ago, is Sunday a good day to come over? And I was like, okay. And she said, yeah, we'll come get the foam thing and then uh, we'll shoot a video and we can do a podcast. Now here is the foam thing she's talking about. I bought that at Walmart, uh, I don't know, years ago, uh, because I thought it would be nice to put on my mattress, like it would make it like a hotel bed, extra soft. But I tried it for one night and I woke up and my back was killing me because it's so thick I couldn't move like when I sleep. So it's just been sort of folded up there. And Carolyn's daughter Lane wants to do an art project. So Carolyn's like, oh, let's get the foam. Lane wants to cut up foam for some reason. Uh, but I texted Carolyn back. I said, well, first of all, I'm very tired. Second of all, I don't know, maybe I should hold on to this like in case I ever want to sleep on the, floor. Oh, the sirens, the sirens. Uh, in case I want to like sleep on my floor sometimes or uh, what did I do during TIFF I had to go into the hallway but I did drag my futon mattress over so I can't imagine and you know what sometimes I could do if I'm sneezing sometimes I go into the bathroom to avoid sneezing and I take that to the floor but that doesn't even make sense no I'll probably just sleep on a pile of towels because I can't sleep on that it's too hard well it's not hard it's just 
It doesn't let me move. And I like to move. I like to shake it when I'm sleeping. I like to groove and move, baby. So Carolyn texts back. She's like, you know what? It takes a lot of time and gas to drive down there. Forget it. We won't come. Uh, we'll do something another time or whatever. Uh, so she didn't come. And then I was like, you know what? I need to solve this. Actually, maybe just before she said she wasn't coming. I'm like, I need to figure out the microphones. Because when I did that podcast with Brent a couple of days ago, I realized I didn't know how to use two microphones in the computer at once, and I wasn't able to figure it out. So uh, I got up, and I called Apple this morning, and I talked to the GarageBand people. Well, first I wound up talking to a guy, and I said, by the way, my speakerphone's not working. And he's like, oh, you know, you gotta, you got to reboot your system from the cloud instead of iTunes, and it's going to be a whole thing. And then I talked to another guy about GarageBand, and it turns out you can't really use two mics in the GarageBand. Listen to that. Now somebody's fire alarm is going off. Oh my god, it's just a cacophony of noise. Does anybody have like a... Anybody live in a small town or a cottage or something and I can come just hang out with you? Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the Apple guy said, well, you know what you could do is if you have two USB microphones, you can combine them into an aggregate. And I'm like, yeah, no, I watched a video about that last night, but I don't have USB microphones. I've got XLR, like serious voice acting microphones. He's like, oh... He's like, well, you could have like one of those, you know, snowball mics and just, you know, picks up voices from every direction. So I'm like, oh, I guess that's what people do. Uh, And he's like, you could also record with a different device. Like if you have something else, I'm like, oh, yeah, because that is something I thought of on my own yesterday or the day before. I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess I could have recorded Brent on my phone with that mic that plugs into my phone and then joined the two tracks later because I would be on the the computer track with that mic. So that was a legit idea I had, because that's what the Apple Store guy suggested. But I don't want to get into that. That's a lot of work, and uh, for no real reason, because uh, I could just have a USB mic sit there. We could both talk. Like, it's good enough. You don't need two tracks for talking. So the answer is, what I said to the Apple guy, I'm like, well, what I did was just, like, have us both huddle around the mic. Actually, that turns out to be what I should have done. So brilliant me. I thought I was ruining my podcast. That's what I would have done even had I talked to Apple. So that just goes to show that I am smarter than I even realize, smarter than other people realize, smarter than anyone else on the earth or elsewhere, if there are people elsewhere. And then other than that, uh, and by the way, I'm just doing different angles to make this more interesting rather than just, you know, the same shot of me over and over, which might as well just be me talking into my phone and then I upload an eight minute video. Like, what is the point of these little segments? This is ridiculous. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, Jake Volt from Ottawa, creative director, or he's, I guess he's a professor now, he commented today on yesterday's video saying, oh dear God, please put on a shirt, put on a shirt. So I've done that for you, Jake. This is for you. And if there's anything else you want me to wear, you know, you can just tell me. You just dictate it. You say, Josh, I want you to wear like a frilly little thing. Or- this morning while I was still lying in bed, I watched a couple of videos about writing jokes. Like Seinfeld talked about how he wrote a joke about uh, Pop-Tarts. And then uh, there was analysis of how Louis C.K. wrote a joke about Monopoly. So that was inspiring. I need to start writing more jokes. And then this afternoon, I've just been uh, making final edits to a review video of some guitar stands. By the way, I keep making these little clips so short because I keep having to burp because of that gross food I just ate. Uh, and I don't want you to hear me burp. I'd actually already edited it yesterday or the day before. It's a video I made with Carolyn and her daughter. I almost said Caroline because that's how Autotype spells her name when I say Carolyn. Anyways, uh, but I added some little tweaks, some little supers, which is what you call letters at the bottom of the screen, like words in a commercial or whatever, uh, just describing the features that I'm talking about. So I thought that'll make it more professional, and I just cut out a little couple of things at the end to make it shorter instead of just reading the product name or whatever. And I'm going to upload that now. Actually, it's already uploaded, so I'm going to make it public, and I'm going to see if people buy the guitar stand through the link below the video. Um, because uh, shout out to Crystal, who has uh, helped me with my experiment. Crystal was buying some things on Amazon, and she did it through the links I gave her with my affiliates. It was like a test, and it turns out uh, both times she bought something, I get a little commission. Like, uh, I think I've made 30 cents from her. And interestingly, there was actually a purchase in my Amazon affiliates from last week, like October 12th. So if anybody knows who bought something through the maybe a, an ad on my blog or something, let me know, because thanks, I made 25 cents. And if you, dear listener, viewer, uh, are going to buy something on Amazon, if you could click on the link, I've got a link in my bio 
on my Facebook page or it'll be below all my YouTube and Facebook videos from now on. If you can click on that, it won't cost you anything extra and I'll get like a tiny little commission and it'll ensure that uh, I get to stay a member of the affiliate program because I get sales. Uh, so it would help me out a lot and it would pay for, you know, these amazing videos I'm giving you. And also thank you to Crystal for, uh, she texted me a schedule for the week, like for each day. She says, you know, here's where you should do your work and your gym and your YouTubing and your auditions and all this because I was saying yesterday I need to have like a set schedule. I think she put the gym at 4 p.m., which makes sense, actually, because I've been wanting to exercise before 5, because that's when people get off work and they actually fill the gym, and I want to have the gym to myself so I can watch my movie on the treadmill and not have to feel guilty about using the treadmill. But I've been finding that towards the end of the day, I start thinking, well, maybe I won't go to the gym. Like, right now, I was going to go to the gym, like, ah, it's already too late, and I was just reading about it, and they say that if you work out at 7 a.m., it can help you sleep better at night. Like any time of the day you work out is fine and you know even doing it in the afternoon can be good for sleep but but it sounds like you know working out at 7 a.m. is a good time for sleep especially and I think that would just I wouldn't have time to overthink it I would just get it done I've been reluctant to do that partly because well I don't want to I'm lazy I don't want to exercise uh, but I keep thinking well if I exercise now I'll be too tired for the rest of the day but I don't think that's how it works I think it gives you some energy and then you sleep better at night so I think I should just like sleep in my gym clothes and then I'll just uh, get it done because that'll also save a bit of time. So if I exercise right away, go to the gym and then I don't have to shower twice during the day and then I'm dressed and I'm ready and then I'm wearing clothes for my videos and everything. I'm not sitting around like a schlub so I'll be more likely to want to shoot. Yeah, I'll be more likely to just sit down and okay, I'll film a stand-up little act or a little stand-up act or I'll film a celebrity gossip video because I'll be dressed in my, my decent clothes, like my clean t-shirt, not this like ripped t-shirt. Yeah, okay, I've talked myself into it. I gotta work out first thing in the morning. Newsflash, I just checked my YouTube studio app, and I don't know, I think I read somewhere that you're not supposed to tell people what you make on YouTube. It's like a secret, so I guess I won't get show you a screen grab of it, but it's, it's up to $12.71. That's what I made in the last 28 days, and that's like a huge, that's a huge record for me. Like in the summer, when I wasn't really posting anything yet, uh, I was making like $5 a month from my YouTube ad. So then I doubled it, like recently, and now it's like up to 1271 I just hit. So I'm doing something right. I mean, partly I'm just uploading these daily vlogs, which is content, and I hardly get any views, maybe like four or five views on them, so it's not making me a lot of money. Uh, but I'm making, uh, well, actually my top one is having uh, mentioned the testosterone boosting chili. Most money-making YouTube video this month, even bigger than my celebrity interviews, is the vlog where I just mentioned that I was making the testosterone boosting chili that uh, I read about in the Clark Bartram uh, recipe. And by most money making, I mean, I think it made me like $1.71 or something. But still, you know, if I could do 100,000 of those, that would be, well, I'm not good at math, but it'd be a lot of money. Um, so what I want to do is actually make a video making the chili. And then, like I said, I've made, I think, 59 cents or something from Amazon affiliates this week. Anyways, I'm just sharing this because it's part of the journey. Like maybe you two are trying to figure out, not you two, well, probably there are just two people watching this, maybe my mom and probably myself, but I mean you as well. Actually, I'm pretty sure my mom doesn't watch these anymore. Uh, but uh, what was I saying? Right, maybe you as well are trying to figure out ways to make money on the internet. Maybe you want to be a digital nomad. Maybe you want to live your creative dreams. Um, so I'm sharing the journey so that you can learn from, I wouldn't say my successes, because they're few and far between, but from my mistakes, definitely. Oh, 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 I just remembered there was something else I wanted to tell you besides that microphone story. So this is the video I filmed uh, when I was outside Nadia's house last night. Hi, Nadia, it's Josh Rackles. Thank you for the invite to the party. I didn't wind up getting there until late. I'm actually, there's your house right now, but it's like 9.30 and I'm sure you guys are done. So happy baby, and uh, hopefully you have another party soon. First of all, of course she's not gonna have another party soon. That's why she's having this party, because she's about to have a baby and she won't be able to have a party for like another 20 years. <sighs> okay, and second of all, this is what she replied today. Oh no, we were totally not done. The champagne was still flowing. Wish my phone hadn't been dead. <laughs> I should have knocked on the door. Why didn't somebody text me? Yeah, I'm going to blame you for this one. Ugh.
And last night I asked Catherine, who's my neighbor and an actress and who I interviewed at TIFF and discovered that she's repped by Nadia, who's her PR person. I said, did you go to Nadia's party? Yes. Mixed crowd, nice people. Ah! Mixed crowds and nice people are my favorite thing in the world. All right, but we're fixing my life. From now on, I'm going to bed at 10. I'm getting up at 7 a.m. I'm like Mr. Disciplined. I'm going to parties. I'm doing stuff. And it's 11.19. Ah!